And first alert meteorologist Trey Fulbright joins us with what we can expect today for this Sunday. Anything good? Yeah, well, pretty good day here across the state, uh, across Western PA, and even a few, uh, even a few clouds that are working their way through this morning. The rest of us, though, looking at mostly sunny skies and a very cool start. It's very refreshing out and about with temperatures that are down into the 50s this morning. 55 in Morgantown, 58 in Morgantown, 56 Connellsville, 57 in Pittsburgh, and even we had Zelia and Opal on the board or earlier. They were down into the upper 40s early on this morning. So that dry air will allow us to warm up later on. On this afternoon, expect partly cloudy skies, a west wind at around 10 to 15 miles per hour. There is a low chance that we may see a few showers up in our far northern counties, mainly north of I-80. It's as this weak little disturbance that you see back over parts of the uh, Great Lakes states kind of worked, rotates around this afternoon. That may give us a chance for a few showers, but the rest of us have that very dry air in place, which will make it pretty difficult to see much in the way of rain. Temperatures work their way back into the low to mid 70s by noon, upper 70s by 4 to 5 p.m. this afternoon and you can see those isolated showers north of I-80. A lot of that is lake enhanced coming off of Lake Erie. So uh, that's where the best chance of rain will be today. The rest of us seeing those dry conditions with intervals of clouds. Another night that's very comfortable lows back into the mid and upper 50s tomorrow morning under mostly clear skies. And then as we work our way into Monday, starting out mostly sunny with a few more clouds working their way in during the afternoon. We'll make it up to 79 degrees for your high temperature. Now, as we work our way into Monday evening and Monday night, more clouds work their way in from the west, and this will be ahead of a weak little weather system that's going to pass over Monday into Tuesday. That will bring a chance for an isolated shower. More folks will stay dry, though, as this system will be fairly weak and doesn't have a whole lot of moisture to work with. The mild and comfortable conditions will continue through the middle part of this upcoming week. Eventually, though, as high pressure moves off to the east, we'll start to see a bit more of a south to southeasterly wind. In. That will bring back the warmer temperatures and that warm up does come with some moisture by the later half of the week. So another system will move in from the west and that will help to increase our chance for showers and storms late Friday and Saturday. Not a washout at the moment, but something we will be watching this upcoming week. So recap here for your rain chances. First system this week, Monday night into Tuesday, very isolated in nature. And then as we see that second disturbance come in later in the week, that will bring in a little bit higher coverage for those scattered showers and storms. We're watching the tropics this morning. This is our next tropical disturbance. It's not named yet. The showers and storms are not really organizing around the low pressure yet, but the National Hurricane Center does have this system projected to intensify and become a named system this upcoming week. This would be Tropical Storm Ernesto, and you can see the models tracking this off to the west and to the north. So this will be something we keep an eye on over the next couple of days. Likely not going to see much in the way of impacts in western PA. Seven day forecast as temperatures in the upper 70s to near 80 for the early half of the week. That slight chance of a shower on Tuesday. More clouds coming up on Tuesday as well. Then after that, we see that steady warming trend. Upper 80s coming up on Thursday. Then scattered showers and thunderstorms arrive Friday and Saturday.